Welcome back. Well, we've seen what goes into building an energy efficient home. It can be something as simple as using insulation to fill in a leak, or it can be something cutting edge, like installing LED lighting. But in the end, the proof only comes after a home has been tested to see if it meets up with Energy Star standards. Today, we're going to go into a house and meet with Alex Heffelfinger, who is a HERS rater. HERS stands for Home Energy Rating System. Let's go in and meet with Alex. Hi, Alex. Hi, Megan. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for having us here today. Absolutely. I was just explaining that you go through homes and actually rate them, right? Yes, I do. Uh, in this particular scenario, we come in and we do what's called a thermal bypass uh, inspection. Uh, we're testing, uh, or we're doing an inspection to make sure that the house complies with Energy Star standards. Is it a pass-fail rating, or are there different levels of efficiency? This particular uh, inspection has some pass-fail um, opportunities in it. Um, Energy Star has some specific requirements about how the house is insulated, um, how the thermal boundaries interact, um, and so we need to do an inspection and make sure that all those things are being met. Okay, well, let's walk through it. Um, when you walk into a house like this, tell us about the things you look for. Uh, the first thing I look for is uh, just to kind of walk the thermal boundary and make sure that the walls are insulated properly, that we haven't missed any cavities uh, or that there aren't any uh, voids or gaps. Um, I look to make sure that um, so any of our uh, double studs are sealed so that we're not letting any cold air into the house. Um, the next thing I'll look for, for example, in this house is um, this house has a vented soffit, which allows air to come up through the soffit and into the attic. Um, I look for uh, the plywood in the cardboard there to help protect the attic insulation to make sure that it's able to, to function properly. Um, this house has a couple of other features that uh, we would want to take a look at right over here, for example. Here we have a couple of important areas. Uh, one is behind the shower unit here. This is an exterior wall. Uh, so the, the builder was able to insulate it and get that insulation protected. Uh, they're using drywall in this scenario uh, for a couple of reasons. One, you don't want your shower unit cold, uh, obviously when you're trying to take a nice warm shower. And two, we have water lines in this area that we want to really pay special attention to and make sure that, uh, that we're not having any freezing problems. Um, we have another area over here we can take a look at. This is another area that we see typically. Um, we have a fireplace here where we have a, a chase um, that we make sure that they get a lid on and get that lid sealed up so that we don't have any um, interface with the attic. Um, also, you can see here a couple of examples of wire holes where they sure. get the wire holes foamed so that the, we don't have air leaking down through the walls a lot of times um, into the return duct system for uh, the HVAC equipment. Uh, lastly, I would look at the ductwork. In this particular case, it's all in the attic. This is a slab home, uh, so we need to make sure that all the uh, ductwork is insulated, insulated properly, that they haven't missed anything, that everything's connected. Um, so we'll do a visual inspection of the ductwork at this point as well. Now, Alex, what if one of these elements doesn't meet up to the standard? Is it the builder's responsibility then to fix the problem? Yep. Yep, what we'll do typically if we come out here and we see an issue, then we'll call the builder. Oftentimes we'll get a hold of the subcontractor directly um, and just uh, let them know what the issues are, have them take care of them, and then typically we're out the next day to do a reinspect. So who is it that, that hires you and pays you to be here? The builder hires me, pays okay. me to be here, yep, and I'm, I'm here to make sure that he's adhering to the standards of Energy Star. Now, how does a, a homeowner know if their home has been inspected? Is there some sort of documentation that's provided? Typically, if the builder is building Energy Star, he will promote that, he'll market. It. Um, if you don't see it, um, then there's a pretty good chance that it's not Energy Star. Um, however, I would encourage people to, to always ask their builder if they are building to those standards. And lastly, what if somebody is interested in buying a new home uh, that has not been rated? Is it possible for them to have their home evaluated? At that point in time, I wouldn't be able to rate the house and, and make it an Energy Star home, but we could certainly come in and do some testing, um, make sure that uh, from an air sailing standpoint um, that the house isn't too leaky, and if it is, identify those places where they are, and we can certainly make corrections at that point and uh, give, give a homeowner a better, a better product. Great. Thanks, Alex. Good Thank information. Thank you very much. Thanks. For more information on energy-efficient new home construction, visit our website at powerhousetv.com. Energy